Okay, so hello and welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. In this one, we're going to be going into JavaScript. And the last time I touched JavaScript on this channel was uh, showing how to add it to websites, but I didn't really go much into that series because not a lot of people seem to be interested. But uh, I've been doing a bit more JavaScript, and over the last few days, I've been practicing this and getting used to uh, how to make a Discord bot using JavaScript. Now, there are other ways to make Discord bots. Uh, people are can do it in a C sharp. I've done it in Python and Visual Basic, I think. Um, I tried doing it in C sharp at the start, but because I was using the most recent updated version and if all the documentation and tutorials I could find were like old versions, um, I just didn't bother. And I thought, you know, I've not done much JavaScript uh, in a while, so I thought I'd touch that. And here we are. So I'm going to show you in this video how to set it up and get your bot into your server and respond to a simple command. And then in upcoming videos, if you want them, I'll show you how to write custom commands to do cool things. So first of all, you need to have stuff installed. Now I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. The reason being is, you know, quite literally Visual Studio, but it's also um, kind of got Node implemented. And if you've ever used JavaScript, Node is basically a way of running JavaScript outside the browser because by default JavaScript only runs in your browser um, but node is a way of running it on your desktop which means you can have uh, bots and well such other things so go ahead and download this I will link all these in the description you need to download this and you need to download node.js uh, preferably the most recent version like this one here the current if you're on Mac or whatever whatever Linux get whatever you need to I'm just gonna be <laughs> I know how to do it for Windows and that's good enough for me so install node and just save it wherever you want to be honest and then same with uh, Visual Studio Code and then what you'll notice is you open Visual Studio Code and here you are you've got this and you want to basically allocate somewhere to put your bot so if we go to open folder and I'll go here here's my other testing things I don't really care about the other ones I'm just gonna go and make a new folder here called a uh, tutorial bot yep that is going to be the one I'm going to use so I'll make a folder and use that so if you see here now it's going to open a folder here is just this is where the folder is uh, and we can put our JavaScript in here so first of all uh, we need to um, we need to add node to this now once you've installed node what you can do is you can get rid of this and bring up the console from the bottom by dragging up here you get a little uh, console window. If you go into the terminal, you can type commands like a on your CMD, uh, on your command prompt, you can type those in here. So first of all, if you've installed Node, the way you can add it to your project, because once you've downloaded any libraries, you have to import them. And Node is pretty good for this. So if we put uh, npm, which is Node Packet Manager, in it. Now, actually, I've just noticed something as well. Before you actually enter this, uh, you should take into consideration it doesn't like having uh, your folder name with spaces in so just take a space out um, ah, I'm gonna have to uh, close this quickly save it and then a uh, visual studio code and reopen it uh, that was just my mistake because if you have a space in and you try and import it's gonna have a problem with the file name and it's just just annoying so let's can we just drag it in yeah it's pretty handy like that so here we are tutorial bot and we can now get rid of this and now that it's not got any naming problems we can go into terminal and as i was about to do let me just close well done that um we want to do npm for node package manager then init which initializes it and if you wait a second you'll see it comes out of all this stuff and to be honest you can just press enter through all of it enter enter it's going to ask you you can fill in these things if you want but you really don't need to and then once it says is this okay yeah what it'll do is it'll create a uh, package.json file uh, on the side and if you go into that you'll see the things we just agreed to that we could have changed and you can still change them now if you want to the main thing that matters is here index.js that is the javascript file that it's going to run when you start the node thing so when you run this uh, whole project it's going to start on the index.js file if you want to call it something else then make sure you change it here but we're going to uh, simply go in here and we're going to create a new file index.js and here is a javascript file just like any other so we can write a uh, console.log uh, testing and then down here if we write um, node space uh, dot it's going to run our thing and it prints testing to the console so that's how you know 
this node thing works. Now we want to do more than just you know print to the console. We want to uh, set this up for Discord. So what we need to do is first of all we need to uh, import Discord library to um, to our project. Now uh, to import Discord, let's see down here. We want to go uh, npm, which is Node Packet Manager, space install space Discord dot js which is the library for discord you can go and look it up online discord.js uh, and we want to do save like this and enter and give it a second it's gonna you know download the uh, library it shouldn't take too long it's done already and that's fast um, and now that means that we can basically refer to that um, thing and we can access the code that we need to make a discord bot so we're gonna first of all make a, a variable for the actual um, library I guess so if we put require can't spell um, and it's called discord.js if you go into over here node modules discord.js that's what we're bringing in here and then we also want to have reference to the actual bot itself so we need to make a const bot is a new discord dot client because it's the client which is the bot that's what it means now uh, to actually have our bot enter the server when we run it, there's a command which is a dot login. So we're going to do bot dot login. The problem is to log into the server, it needs a key, which um, you get from. Well, I'll show you now because you need to get it for yourself. So if I go onto the website and I, well, that's my uh, other one. So let's just get rid of that. Um, oh no, I didn't mean to actually do that. So if you go onto your Internet Explorer and search Discord dot basically the discord website but after it you put slash developers it'll take you to here and what you need to do is you need to go to my apps and i've got my one i've been messing around with you want to create a new app and call it a you know tutorial bot um you can give it an icon if you want let's create the bot here's your id now yeah for now make sure so since i'm doing it for this tutorial i'm going to keep the bot private so that if any of you get the key it doesn't matter what it can do um when you generate your key, well, first of all, click down here to make it a bot. This you need to actually let it know this account's going to be a bot. Here we go, it's a bot. Now, don't check the public unless you actually want other people to use it. And this thing, this token, the key I was on about, if other people see this, they can then access your bot and basically change your bot, which you don't want to do. If you're going to give it to anyone, only give it to people that you know will be using the bot, like um, people that will be editing the code of the bot, but otherwise, don't give it to anyone. I'll be fine showing it on this video because it's just going to be in a little test server with just me and the bot and also um, it's like I'm not going to be using this anywhere else anyway so you do what you want with it if you, you know if you wanted to um, but anyway this client ID let's just let's just copy this into our text file and then if we go onto the side and go down to o2 off now I've opened it in a separate tab um, you'll see this this uh, URL here which is kind of like the uh, default um, website for setting up your bot, adding it to a server. If you put this into here, oops, wait, this isn't the actual right link, is it? Let me just scroll. Here it is. Um, if we get take this one, I am getting the right one, I think. I've done this once before for adding it to a server. Here it is, sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, it's this one, this shorter one here, just the uh, authorized client one. But instead of an ID here, we want to replace it with our ID. So let's copy this and paste it over the number there. And this one at the end, when I did it, it was a zero and now it's a one. I don't really want to uh, change that, so I'll just leave it as zero. Now I'll take this new URL and just search it on the internet. And it'll take you to a website here. Connect to Discord tutorial bot. Select a server. I'm going to take it to my bot testing dapper, which is just the server I'm testing it on. And I'm going to click authorize. And that's done. So now if I open Discord and I bring it over here, let me just uh, bring it over here. As you see now, I've got the tutorial bot inside my server. There it is. It doesn't do anything. It's just, it's offline, but it's in the server. So that's all we need for now. Then we can close this. And what you need to do is you need to go down onto your page here. The If you ever lose it, just go back to your My Apps and then your bot. You'll see down here you have a token. Now, don't show this to anyone, but I'm fine on this tutorial. Just take this token, copy it, 
go into your um, code and paste it inside here. Now, if I save this and I do uh, node dot and I go back to the Discord server, my bot is now online. So there we go, the bot is now on the server and it's in to the uh, actual thing, it's online in the server. Now, um, I'm not gonna do uh, much more in this video, but one thing we can do is we can, let me think, okay, one, one thing we can do, let's see. So, if we go back here, if you want to turn off your bot, if you wanna get it offline, you do Control C and it brings us back up. It means the bot's offline now. Uh, bots do seem to take like up to a minute to actually disconnect from the server. Uh, so like the, it, the bots commands won't work anymore. It just says it's online when it's not actually online. Uh, and whenever you wanna run it again, just do node space dot. Um, now one good thing to do just for the sake of it is also to just do const key equals this. Now, I'm actually not gonna call it key, it's technically a token, so. Uh, that does the same thing, it just stores it up there in case you need to change it, it's a bit easier to see. Um, now, what we want to do is, we want to have some way of the bot messaging the server. So we can do um, client, no sorry, bot dot on message. Now this is a like default command in the Discord library, which basically gets run every single time a message gets sent in the server. And what it can do is, um, well it takes in a message here. Uh, I think I can just put function message, I think. Uh, and then if you open this up, inside here, this is what code's gonna get run whenever a message is sent. So if we do a check to say, you know, if the uh, message dot content, what message is a variable that has a lot of information about a message it'll have, you know, the time, the person who sent it, what the message is, all that lot. Message dot content, like content, is just the actual text itself. So if that is equal to, um, you know, uh, hello. So if someone says hello in the server, then we can respond with, um, we can do message dot reply, um, hello, I guess. Uh, wait, hello comma, how are you? So what this does is, instead of just sending hello, how are you to the person, because it's a dot reply function that is in discord.js, it actually uh, mentions the person. So it'll say like, at Dapper Dino, hello, how are you? Or like, um, you could even do it, just um, message this and then mention at the end, but this is, this is gonna mention right away. And it's fine for what we wanna do now. So let's do, let's make sure it's saved. So control S, um, node dot, and run it. And then if we go back into our Discord, it's online. If we do, um, you know, did I do a uh, capital hello? Yeah, hello. And now the bots responded, ah, Dapper Dino, hello, how are you? That's pretty cool, in my opinion at least. Um, and one other thing you can do is you can do um, bot dot on, um, oh, let me think, what is it? Bot dot on ready. I think it's on ready. Um, comma, function, um, console.log, ready. Uh, I hope I got this right. It'll tell me if I'm not right. There we go. So now when you run the code, it's gonna print to the console when the bot is actually ready to be used so that you're not waiting around for it. So like obviously, you know, hello, 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 <laughs> so on. So yeah, anyway, this video uh, shouldn't have been too long. How long is it? Uh, 14 minutes, that's all right. So um, yeah, this is the first video in, you know, how to set up a Discord bot. And if you follow this correctly, then you should be able to set up yours too into your own server. Um, just make sure whenever I get a certain number, you just get the one that's right for you. Um, if you have any questions about it, then ask in the comments, but it should be fine. Um, simple enough to follow along for this tutorial. And obviously I'm gonna get more and more complex as we go along, and I'm still learning about this. Uh, I have done a bit more, like I've done uh, custom commands and everything, which I'm gonna be covering in the upcoming videos. But I think this is a cool little series to do, since, uh, you know, all, most of you here are in my Discord server anyway, or a lot of you are, and most people use Discord anyway nowadays, so it's pretty cool to be able to code your own bot, isn't it? I mean, you can make your own custom commands, whatever you want. 
Um, just remember to be safe and don't give anyone your token key and, you know, you should be fine. Um, also, when you actually put it into a big server, you want to make sure that the commands have specific roles so that no random guy can just go and, like, delete things and kick people and ban people. When we get into more powerful commands, then I'll show you about roles, but for this video, this is just, you know, simple. Also, yeah, when you're making a bot, you probably want to have a separate server just to test it in so that it all works fine, but yeah, that should be fine. So, uh, if you want to see more of these videos or more of any types of videos on my channel, obviously liking and subscribing would help a lot, help me reach that 500 goal, so close. Um, also, in the description, we'll have a link to my Discord channel, uh, and here it is. Um, we have currently, what, like, um, currently 72 members. It's growing pretty quickly, I guess, uh, considering I've not had it for that long. Um, we discuss about Unity. Where, I mean, you can see it all there, what we, what we have channels for. I'm always uh, willing to change the server. And when I've got confident enough, I'm going to bring my uh, baby bot into here, the server bot to hopefully be able to like automatically give people roles and all that lot because i can do that but i don't want to put it in yet because it might get abused um since i've not set it up properly to be safe yet but you know eventually add it to the server um i'll also show you in upcoming things like how to add like a music bot so you know you can have your own music thing on it just got to keep in mind your bot is only running when your computer's on and running it uh, when you see these bots, these public ones that are on all the time, they'll have a computer or server with it constantly running. So just keep that in mind. You can't rely on it to be on while you're offline, but yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously if you want to join, then that'd be nice. Subscribe, like the video, all the all the boring stuff everyone says. Uh, I try not to nag on too much about it, but yeah. And the last thing is, if you do join the Discord, uh, this weekend, starting uh, tomorrow night, so Friday midnight till Saturday, uh, Sunday midnight, we're doing a kind of two-day uh, game jam in the server where it's simply just you know I'll put put a uh, random generated theme on tomorrow night and then you have two days to make the game and submit it and then me and the other admins will uh, judge the games and then we'll give them scores and at the end of it we'll come out with a uh, first second and third place and then I'll do a video on my channel showcasing those three games and we'll be discussing them and you know saying why we chose them what's good about them the scores we gave and so on so you know you got an incentive to be to make your game seen uh, and since it's not that big of uh, the amount of people taking part, it shouldn't be too difficult to win. Um, but yeah, it's also fun to enter and also like the more people I enter is the better anyway because we get to see more games being made and it's all about the community spirit anyway. So yeah, anyway, I think I've got, I think I've blabbered on enough. So if you enjoy the video, you know, thanks for watching and goodbye.